Hi, my name is Asan, and today we are going to see the demo of the Twitter bot. First of all, let's take a look at the features of the bot. The first feature is search. The user can provide a keyword to the bot. The bot will go to the Twitter and it will perform a search against the given keyword. After performing search on the Twitter, it will extract tweets and its metadata like username, date, likes, retweets from the results. After extracting the data, the user can export the results into CSV or Excel format. Let's see some of the inputs that bot accepts. The first one is keyword. The user can specify any keyword. For example, I specify funny. The bot will take this keyword and it will perform a search on the Twitter against the keyword. It might be possible that when bot perform a search on the Twitter, it got thousands of results. But we are not interested in getting all of those results. We are only interested in getting a particular number of results like 10, 20 or whatever user wants. So we can tell the bot to get that number of results and ignore all the other results. The last input is the delay range. The purpose of this input is to control the bot behavior. Like recently, Twitter updated their rate limiting policy on the service. As a result, they only allow 50 requests per minute. In order to comply with the policy, we can adjust the speed of our bot via the delay range input parameter. Let's quickly see the bot in action. The execution of the bot is completed. Now we can see the results. There is a file created by the bot that will contain all the results collected by the bot. As we can see that the bot collected only 10 results. It's because earlier we have specified that we are only interested in the top 10 results. That's why a bot only collected the top 10 results and ignore all the others.